Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt Ellis, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we are gonna be coming to you talking about one of my favorite drills of all time for glide shot put. So before we get into the drill, let's talk a little bit about human beings. Okay, so human beings, we can jump. Okay, we can produce power with our legs, we can explode, and our feet can leave the ground. We can jump, we can produce force. We can use our strength, we can jump off the ground. There's a lot of sports that involve jumping. There's basketball, there's volleyball, there's high jump, obviously. There's goalies that have to jump, outfielders in baseball that have to jump. There are football players that have to jump. Jumping is a huge part of a lot of sports that we play when we are growing up or when we are in high school or college. Jumping is a huge part of what we do. And when we jump, our body over time naturally learns where we need to put our feet. We kind of have a good idea of where the best place is for us to put our feet to jump, to produce that force. And it's pretty rare. I mean, I've been doing this here for 12 years. I've been coaching athletes now for over 20 years, but as a gym owner doing this for my full-time job, day in and day out, I've coached a lot of athletes and we do a lot of plyos here in the gym. We do a lot of jumping. And it's very rare that you'll see somebody try to jump with their legs this wide. They're, they're not going to be able to do that. And it's ready, re very rare that you're going to see somebody jump with their feet together. Typically what you're going to see is that when somebody goes to jump, they're going to get their feet right about where they would be if they were to squat really heavy weight. Or if you look at it in terms of throwing the shot, it's going to be just about where their feet would be if they were gonna do a power position throw or a standing throw. They're not gonna have their feet really, really wide and they're not gonna have their feet really, really narrow. If you wanna produce force, if you wanna produce power, your feet have to be separated, your feet have to be opened up about as far as they would be if you were gonna do a big standing vertical jump. Well, take a look where my right foot is right now. You can see I've got the middle of the circle directly in the middle from nine o'clock to three o'clock, and my foot is about four inches inside that line. Now I'm six foot three, and my foot's about four inches inside that line, and I have really long legs, and my foot is four inches inside that line. What we see a lot with, uh, especially younger glide shot putters and athletes that are just getting started with the glide, is that when they start in the back of the circle, again, it's a seven foot circle, they don't realize, hey, I've gotta go a little bit more than three and a half feet because ideally you want to get your right foot in the same spot it would be as if you were going to do a power position throw. That is where your body knows it's able to make the most amount of power and deliver as much force into that ball when you get to that position. But unfortunately what we see a lot of times are athletes when they start out they start in the back of the circle. They could be all the way in the back. They could be a couple inches, maybe six inches from behind the back of that circle. And they get in the back and all of a sudden it becomes one of these where they only glide maybe about two feet and then they reach for the toe board. And now their feet are really, really wide. And we know at this point, all of their weight has shifted. There's no way they're gonna be able to get any power out of their legs. They're way too wide, and they're gonna be picking up this right foot as they go to throw the shot. So we know we don't want your feet that wide. We don't want your feet to be you know, five feet wide, almost like you're doing a split. So we've gotta do some type of drill to get the athlete across the circle, teach them to stay patient, teach them to explode out of the back, and how to get their right foot in that correct position. Get that right foot where it needs to be, where they can actually use their legs and produce a lot of force and use their strength. So as you have all seen in my previous videos, I do a camp every summer in Western PA. It's at Allegheny College, Western Pennsylvania. And this year we are actually doing two camps back to back. So I'm gonna be out there for eight straight days, two four day camps back to back. And when I work with the glide shot putters, 
The glider group is usually about 12 to 15 people, so it's a good sized group, and I need drills that I can easily teach to my athletes so they can practice them and do them and work on them so I can move on to the next athlete. If I've got 12 or 15 people, kind of like coaches outside at high school practice or college practice right now that might have a big group of guys and girls, all of a sudden, hey, I need a drill that's really gonna teach them how to do this correctly very quickly. Something easy to understand and something quick. And the best way I have found is to use a towel. Now, this drill is something I did not invent. The towel drill has been around forever. And basically what you do is you find out where their foot is in the back of the circle, say it's here, and then you just lay the towel down right in the middle, just like that. So you lay the towel down right in the middle, and now the athlete, when they glide, they have to glide over that towel. So if they start out here, again, look at not hitting the towel. We're going to get in that position, whether it's sort of starting from a static position or a little bit more of an active position. We're going to go and we're going to work on gliding over that towel. Now the benefits of using a towel is, number one, you probably already have a bunch of them out at practice because you're wiping off all the shots, you're wiping off the moisture, you're wiping off the mud and the dirt from the shots, so you have towels lying around. You can use the towel. But also, if the athlete goes to throw and they go to glide and they don't get across and they step on the towel, well, they're not gonna twist an ankle, they're not gonna trip, they're not gonna get hurt. The towel's gonna get a little wrinkled, you're gonna put your foot down, smooth it out. Okay, next person get in, or that athlete can try again. But it's a great way so they're not scared. You can get them to start, glide, whew, get where they need to go, and work on getting into the front half of that circle, getting that right foot where their body knows it needs to be to produce some great force. Now, instead of a towel, what else can you use? Well, here in the gym, when we're doing these drills, we have Jump ropes. So now let's do the same thing. Now you'll see here, I have that white line painted. So if you have the same white line painted, you can use that. If you wanna take a piece of sidewalk chalk and draw that line, you can use that. If you're using a wooden indoor circle, typically those are two halves. There's a back half and a front half, and you already have the separation. But look, let's do the same thing. Let's put this jump rope down right in the middle of the circle. And now let's get started, and we're going to glide and get in the front half. So we're in the front half. We've done the glide over the jump rope. What happens if you land on the jump rope? Whoops, not a big deal. If you land on the jump rope, again, you're not gonna twist an ankle, you're not gonna slip, you're not gonna get hurt, nothing's gonna happen. You just accidentally step on it, you kick it back in place where it needs to go, where it used to be, and boom, you're all set. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it from here. Hopefully this drill helps you out. It's one of my favorite drills that I do at all of my camps and clinics that I do around the country throughout the year. Now that COVID is starting to settle down a little bit, now that colleges are being a little bit less restrictive, the camps and the clinics are coming back in a big way. And again, we're gonna be out at Allegheny College, Western Pennsylvania from July 6th through the 9th. And then right after that, from July 10th through the 13th, you guys can click that card that just popped up in the corner, go to the website, check out all of our coaches, check out everything about the camp and how we can help you out and get signed up in the month of February. You save 10% with a little bit of an early bird discount. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you made it this far, get down there, smash that like button and leave a comment and let me know, does this drill help you out? Have you ever seen this drill before? And what other stuff do you want me to talk about here on the channel?